Hey, welcome back to Handmade at Home. I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. We're, We're the, the Crafty, Crafty Lumberjacks. Jacks. I don't know about you, but we plan on staying in and hibernating all winter long. Oh yeah, and of course we would love to be in a cozy log cabin, but we live in a New York Queens apartment. Yes, yeah, so inspired by Mary Ann's miniature videos, we yeah. thought it'd be fun to make a miniature log cabin of our dreams. Yes, and turn it into a nightlight to keep us cozy all the time. Yes, here we go. So we're gonna be creating four walls and we decided to keep it pretty simple just because it is a big task. Now we did a little homework and we made a template. Now this is all to size. We're gonna use this as a guide as we work. Yes, for our logs, we downsized a little bit. We're gonna be using wooden dowels to create our walls. But before we get started, we need to cut these to size. And for that, we're gonna use a miniature saw. Timber! We've been cutting up a storm here. You can see I'm using the template as a guide. We want alternating pieces so that they uh, lock together. So we have a long piece and then a short piece. I'm using the dotted line as a guide for my longer pieces and then the solid line as a guide for my smaller pieces. We have our first sides done here for the top triangle. We didn't want to cut all those pieces. We're actually going to cut it after we glue it. So I'm using um, some leftover scrap pieces, some dowels here, and just going to glue it in order, um, you know, just so that it's larger than the triangle. And then we're going to cut it down to size using the saw once it's all dry. And then actually for a little bit of extra stability and security, I'm actually going to use a mini uh, popsicle stick here just to hold it all together because we really don't want it to pop off or kind of fall apart when we try to saw it. And then this way we can glue this right to the side of the house. Double duty. All right, I'm gonna set this aside and I'll get another piece of parchment paper and start on um, the other sides. Looking pretty good. And then if you want, if you're feeling a little worried about the glue, um, you know, we're gonna be painting this. So you can just add little glue there in the crevices of the logs, you know, just for a little more comfort <laughs> in knowing that all your hard work won't <laughs> fall apart. Our triangle sections are, are dry. I'm just going to cut out the triangle here to use as a guide while I'm sawing. I'm gonna use some double-sided tape and I'm actually gonna tape it right to the piece of wood there. I want it flush to the bottom. And I'm actually going to use a clamp to clamp this down and then I'm gonna start saw. Everything's looking really good. We're gonna peel these off the parchment paper there. You can see it's a little uh, rough and it's still drying, uh, but now I'm just going to glue my little triangle shape there to the top. And then we're gonna set these to dry and work on our roofs. We went back and forth a few times about this. Uh, we were originally gonna make the roof out of craft sticks. You see we have some uh, trial and error pieces here, but we love how much the dowels look that we decided to keep the roof with the dowels. Yeah. Um, we're essentially gonna make the roof the same way we made the walls, just glue them all together. Yeah, and now we're gonna make our base as well. We're gonna keep that really simple, just use some balsa wood. The house is just gonna sit on here, but before we do that, we're gonna drill a hole right in the middle for the nightlight to just poke through. Yes. We're almost there. Oh my gosh, almost I cannot there. wait. Now that we have our base cut, I'm just going to cut a piece of felt to size and we're gonna glue that right on top. We want to add the felt for a little more uh, texture, character, but Color. of course you can leave this all natural or you can paint it. Um, we kind of went back and forth with a lot of these um, these little details, you know? Yeah. Uh, we were thinking maybe snow, but then, I don't know. We, we kind want of it felt... to be more like uh, evergreen rather than like a winter. Yes. Um, you know, this way we can use it all year round if we wanted to. And actually we can um, add embellishments like per season. So like maybe for Valentine's Day, we could do a little heart on the door or oh like for gosh. Easter, put a little bunny in the yard. Yeah, some flowers for May. I love where this is going. All right, now for the hole, I'm just gonna keep it really easy since you're not going to see it. I'm just going to eyeball it. Perfect. All right, now I'm just gonna use craft glue for this and glue it right on. We have our parchment paper windows glued on. Now we're just gonna start putting it all together. You of course could uh, use some super glue or the craft glue to put it together. Uh, but you know, these actually work right in place. Uh, so you can carefully slide them in there. Yeah, they seem like they're really snug, which is nice. 
And if you have any gaps or anything, you can fill it in with a little bit of glue, or of course you can cut more dowels to size and kind of just fill it in there. But this actually looks pretty good. It looks really good, oh my gosh. So cute. Yeah. Our roof is dry, it's yes. looking good. Now time for the next step. We're gonna add a coat of paint to the roof. We decided we're gonna leave the cabin all natural, oh, yeah. just the way it is. But we are gonna add some acrylic paint to the top of the roof. We also cut out a chimney using a square dowel that we're gonna add on uh, once we're finished. Yeah, we're gonna paint that too. And then when that's all dry, we're going to glue the roof together to itself in a peak, just so we can hopefully lift it on and off if we need to change the light bulb or anything like that. We're just gonna be using super glue for that and I think then we're pretty much done. done. Oh my gosh. See it all come together. And just for safety, we recommend using an LED bulb. Oh my gosh, it looks utterly charming. It was a lot of work, but totally worth it. Yes. Uh, we can't wait to move in. Yeah, let us know how <laughs> you're gonna stay cozy this winter in a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.